Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about why I always recommend capsules over tablets when it comes to taking your different supplements. And I've had this question coming in a lot more frequently because I've mentioned it kind of along on the side when I'm talking about supplements in certain other videos and how you should always take capsule form high quality rather than tablets didn't have time to really go into depth so that's what i'm doing here i also want to show you how you can easily make your own capsules of any kind and the great thing about that is you know exactly what's going into them and there's other types of supplements you can make besides just capsules and i'll get into that in just a moment so first let's talk about the problem with tablets and a lot of it has to do with how they're made so first of all they're going to have fillers and coatings and things that are absolutely unnecessary in you being able to get that as a supplement. And the problem with a lot of these fillers and coatings that they put on them, the coating is to help make you be able to swallow it easier, but these different things can cause digestive problems and make it hard for you to even digest that tablet in the first place and oftentimes they just get passed right through the system. Thus, the vitamins and minerals therein never actually get absorbed into the bloodstream. So it's really just a big waste of money when that happens. And then also you're looking at the high pressure and heat that's involved in making the tablets. And what happens to the nutrients that are in those tablets as a result is a lot of them are getting destroyed. And especially when you're talking about more sensitive vitamins like vitamins A and vitamin C, when they're exposed to heat and light, a lot of that gets destroyed and th thus it's no good. So even though a tablet may read X amount of milligrams of that particular vitamin, you're probably not even getting half of what that's advertised as. Though a lot, some people like tablets because they're easier to cut in half and so on and so forth, it's just not worth the detriment to the body and the waste of money that's going into those tablets in the first place when you can either buy high quality capsules and that includes gel caps like like you usually find with vitamin d3 or vitamin a and these right here the c the d and the a are the only store-bought supplements we actually take anymore and anything else, it's usually ones that I make. And I don't even take them all year round. Mostly we only take these in the winter time and don't worry about them as much in the summertime. So other than that, I do try to do the best I can to get these nutrients from our food. But there are certain times where it is necessary for us to add more of these nutrients to our diet and supplementation can be the easiest way to do it. So I'm not entirely against supplements in general. I think it's just best to find better ways than paying the high dollar amount for supplements, be it in capsules or tablets, but certainly not tablets. So right here, I wanna show you, I've got years ago, I bought these tablets. Now I've known since my early 20s that capsules were better than tablets because I've always been studying to some degree certain issues in relation to health. And I used to be big into supplementation, so I did a lot of reading about it. And that was when I learned about how tablets are made versus capsules. But several years back, I went ahead and caved and bought these chlorella tablets only because I could not find them in a capsule form. I looked and looked and looked. But at the time, did not realize I could do something as simple as buying a powder. Like I have some different powders here. I have Moringa, I have Ashwagandha, I have Spirulina and that I could get empty capsules and make my own until one day the light just went on and I thought, I wonder if I can find empty gel caps that I can fill myself. And it didn't take me long. A few minutes later, I had capsules come in my way. So I always keep empty gel caps on hand so I can make my own supplements of any kind that I wanna make. So using a whole herb form, like, like the ones I mentioned, the, the ashwagandha, the moringa, the spirulina, the chlorella, you can buy these in powders form. Oh, and don't let's not forget turmeric. Or even taking your own mixed greens blend like I have here and powdering it up and putting it in capsule form. Now I don't do that simply because this gets added to so many things from teas to sauces and soups and even in my own 
other form of homemade supplement and that is a liquid form by making it in the extract so i can get that little bit of extra if i still don't feel like i'm getting enough of the nutrients that are found in all these great greens and if you'd like to know more information about extract making i just had a video come out that i'll link to down below as well as the last video I did on mixed greens so you can learn more about that and how I make it and what I make it out of if you're interested. Here I've got just a little bowl of some different supplements we may take if we really need them. I've got the Moringa in here. I've got some eggshell powder capsules. Normally I just take the eggshells by the spoonful but sometimes, sometimes it's harder than others so going for a capsule is nice. The turmeric and some ashwagandha and then the dark dark ones are the black walnut and that's just if we really need it black walnut has a lot of medicinal properties i've used it for my chickens and so i keep that powder on hand but you can encapsulate any powder you want to take it either as a supplement or for the sake of its medicinal purposes so right here these ones are made more for pain and inflammation and i have two different kinds in here one of them is turmeric which i believe i mixed with a little bit of black pepper and ginger I and mean, I did a video on this I can't remember what all I put in here so it's not just turmeric black pepper is good you don't need very much but if you don't if you can't handle black pepper there's other things you can add to your turmeric in order to make it more bioavailable in the body you don't have to use black pepper I did a video just on that topic alone that I'll also link to down below but anyway this is more specifically for pain and inflammation the other one in here that looks kind of olive green is a mix of my own herbs that includes I believe valerian leaf fever few and catnip the nice thing about capsules rather than an extract when it comes to that is if you can't handle the flavor and taking it in an extract form just gags you then you can always powder your herbs up and make capsules out of them and take them that way but then on the other hand, some people can't handle swallowing capsules, so taking an extract or a tincture can be the easier way. It's all going to be dependent on the person. So what I want to do real quick is just show you how I make capsules. But before I do this, I just want to say real quick, you can actually buy special little capsule fillers. Some people love them and say they make it so much easier for them and less messy. I've looked into them, I've watched people use them, and personally, I didn't see how they were any less messy or saved any time personally for me. It's all gonna be dependent on the person. So what I do is I always use a small monkey bowl or dessert bowl, whatever you wanna call it, and I put my powders in these because the smaller the better, but you also want it to have enough space where you can get both hands in there. And then you got your empty capsules, which I'll link to the ones I get down below. I, be, I believe these ones are the vegan ones, so if you're concerned about the gelatin, these are plant-based. Which personally, I, I'm not vegan, and I think getting good quality animal-based gelatin is very, very healthy for your digestive system. But I also understand people that are avoiding animal products, and so I like to make sure that you know there are those options. Really, it's as simple as, I made sure to get... It's kind of nice if you can put something down there just to help make your cleanup a little easier. And having that red background might make that dark green stand out better. So I just fill both sides. See, that's the other thing too, is by doing this by hand, I feel like I can get more into each capsule. Now spirulina is just like turmeric. It's very, very dark. It doesn't stain your hands though the way turmeric does. And there we go. Now I got this beautiful spirulina capsule. I'll toss it in my bowl. I usually try to tap off some of that... Uh, excess powder so you just pull your capsule apart which is something you'd have to do anyway even if you had a filler fill both sides and then just jam them together and then i just tap on it to shake off some of that extra powder which you can see all over my fingers <laughs> because spirulina is so dark it's really going to stand out and spirulina does not have a bad flavor but when i tried using it in food it's kind of like turmeric i like the flavor of turmeric but I don't like the way it makes all my food the same color. Same thing goes with the spirulina. It's a beautiful color, but I don't like, if I'm gonna add it to a soup, I don't like all my soup to be that color. Everything in the soup will turn that dark green. And then when you're done, if you got a little powder on there, you can simply just dump it into your bowl, dump your bowl back into whatever container you keep your spirulina in. 
Now, this is a spirulina I have now. I bought this years ago. But um, when I get some more, I'm going to go with, I can't remember if it's Frontier or Co-op or Star West. Those are two of my very favorite brands when it comes to herbs. One of those two brands has it in their regular uh, Mylar type bag, which you can just put in the storage as is. That's one of the reasons I like both those brands. And they always seem to have the best price on their products per pound, especially if you buy by the pound, which is what I always do. So because this is in a glass container, I think that's one of the reasons why this one was far more expensive. But back when I bought that, I didn't know about Star West or Frontier and how they sold their stuff. So, so I will be buying more of that and maybe, or even seeing if I can find a blend of chlorella and spirulina put together into a powder. And then I'll be making my supplements out of that. And then look how pretty that green is in there. <laughs> really add some color to that anyway so I hope that is more understandable and now you can see how you can just make your own supplements you don't have to depend on some company to do it for you even if it's things that you grow yourself just like a lot of people do really good in their area growing moringa just dry up the leaves powder them up and make your own supplements or you can just add you can just cook with it too you can just add it to whatever meal you're making if that's what you choose to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video Answer in that I answered some of your questions. Any more questions you can put down below and I'll try to answer them. And if you have just any comments and things you want to share from your own experience of making your own supplements and what are your favorite kinds to take or make or use, then go ahead and share with us down below. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.